antigua aquí en donde se concentran una cantidad de hinchas, hoy hay mucho croata, mucha mujer que usted y a Lucas estoy segura que les encantaría ver y después de buscarlo muchísimo lo encontramos, Khalifa Al Harun, él es el influencer más importante de Qatar, usted lo puede encontrar en Instagram como I Love Qatar y si usted llega a esta región y no sabe qué hacer, no sabe nada sobre la cultura de acá, sobre su comida, pues Khalifa puede ayudarle. Khalifa, thank you for being with us in W Radio. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Well, Khalifa, why do you, do you love Qatar? Why? Look, Qatar is a country that didn't really have much a long time ago, right? We were just all sand. And now you can see, just you know how in the olden days it was an oasis, was just like a palm tree in the middle of the desert? For us, it's skyscrapers and buildings, and you can feel the life and the energy here, right? And you know, a long time ago, people always used to talk about the American dream. Yes. I think it's the Qatari dream now, because there's so much opportunity here. And uh, there's, th even if something has been done, there's a chance for people to come and do it better. So it's a country for everyone, you know? Why do you think about, uh, I mean, you're very young. Uh, what do you think about the critics uh, around the country? Um, around the Arab culture, treating women, and you know, being gay, it's a, it's a crime. Why do you, what do you think about this? Look, let's talk about two things. First of all, criticism is good because it helps you to identify what your problems are so that you can fix it and make it better. And if you really love your country, you will do whatever it takes to make it better, right? So, I, that's from one side. The criticism can be good. But when it's criticism not to make things better, and it's criticism laced with racism, then I've got a problem with it because You don't want to give us a chance to prove who we are. You don't want to get to know us. And the beauty of the world is that we are all different. We have different backgrounds. We have different cultures. We have different beliefs. So let's get to know each other, understand. We might not agree with each other, but that's okay. I don't even agree with my mother all the time, you know? So that's okay. But let's try to get to know each other. Give us a chance. And so when it comes to criticism, sometimes people are talking about things that have already been resolved, something that have already been fixed. And so I wish it was a little bit more balanced. That's, When, when things have changed and they've improved, let's say, listen, good job, you changed it, now let's see what more you can do that's better. And do you agree with all these uh, rules? Uh, I mean, look, when it comes to, let's talk about workers' rights. 100% I agree, everybody deserves the best life possible when they come to my country. I want them, because they don't come here just because they want to have a holiday. They have families back home and they want to make sure that they can take care of them. And I feel proud that they choose Qatar to be the country that they want to live their life and to have a better life. So what Qatar did is made sure that they applied, you know, the, 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 the wage protection system to make sure that people get paid on time. And so companies that are violating this, you know, they get uh, fined or shut down. They applied this kiosk so that people could uh, go ahead and log anonymous complaints so that the government can see if there's any problems that are happening. Okay. So there's so many things that have happened that changed. And I agree. We need to fix it. Thank you very much for being with us in W Radio. Thank you so much. Thank you.